two of the trip. It's my full day here in Regensburg. I'm gonna go to the big cathedral, probably see a couple of museums, and then maybe I've got time in the afternoon to get out of town, but that remains to be seen. which is dedicated here to the famous astronomer who used to live here. Unfortunately, the museum is closed today, but I kind of left kind of the front area open so you could go in and just see a little bit, which is really nice because it's only open like two days a week. So it's nice to have it open just a little bit so I could have a sneak peek. three off the road trip and right now I'm at Liberation Hall which was built to kind of celebrate the defeat of Napoleon and it looks gorgeous from the road unfortunately I wasn't able to you know take any footage because I was driving but we're gonna go inside and have a look platform and the views from up here are just amazing. Down here you can see the Danube River and down here you can actually see the bit where we went two days ago. Yeah, you see a little boat. is going to be Valhalla which is named after kind of like the residence of the Germanic gods it's basically like I don't know like Olympus for the Greeks so Valhalla is where like the ancient Germanic tribes believe the gods lived but the monument we're visiting today is actually something that was built like I think about 200 years ago and there are sculptures of all the most important Germans inside Valhalla so we're gonna have a look at that but Valhalla is closed over lunchtime so thankfully I found myself the perfect lunch spot also I think the Camino goes through this bit because um, the seashell you can see up there that's kind of the symbol for the Camino which you know most people know only the Spanish part but actually the Camino is a network of little trails all across Europe so I think this is part of it how cool. Oh my gosh, yes, it's definitely the Camino. This thing here, Jakobsweg, that's German for Camino. So amazing, like I can't believe we're here. And honestly, the Camino is one thing I still need to do. I also got myself some lunch at the supermarket too. So I got some salad. And then to counterbalance all the healthy stuff, I got a donut and a Kinder Happy Hippo.
more interesting to see Liberation Hall and Valhalla. I think these two buildings are basically the closest thing I've ever seen to like some big German national pride. Ooh, let me just adjust the camera. Yeah, that's better. Um, anyway, so by the way, do not trust the opening times that are posted online because actually Valhalla is not closed over lunch. It's open during summer from I think 9 a.m. until 6 p.m. And also Liberation Hall is open until 6 p.m. It doesn't close at 4 p.m. as it says online. Do not trust that information. Anyway, now I'm gonna head off to a town called Let me let me consult my travel guide. And what was the name? Yeah, it's called uh, Straubing. So that's where I'm heading next before I go to my friend's place later tonight. for the day I had a really good time these last three days although it was really exhausting and I can't believe like I used to do this like for months on end like I did this once for like nine months non-stop and I'm like how, how was that even possible I don't know maybe I was like oh well, it's only like a couple of years younger so I don't know anyway now I'm gonna head down to my friend's place her aunt has an alpaca farm so we're gonna visit that and you'll get to see that in the next vlog so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that. <laughs> 